Hello D1, happy Wednesday. Today is crazy hair day. Miss Walsh is keeping it a surprise until Zoom, so you better come to Zoom if you want to see the crazy hair I have going on for today, Wednesday. Let's go ahead and let's talk about what our jobs are for today. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click week of 1026 through the 30th, and it is Wednesday. It is October 28th. And you're gonna see my Vitmoji has crazy hair as well. So I decided to get her in on in the action as well. Um, but again, you're gonna make sure you wanna come to that um, Zoom on time so that way you can see my crazy hair. It's gonna be really fun. All right, let's go ahead. Let's talk about what our schedule is for today. So first things first, you are going to be looking at irregular plural nouns. I'm going to click the sun. It's going to take me to that job. And you're going to see on slide number one, it is that refresher about irregular plural nouns. So you're going to go ahead. You are going to click on it. You are going to watch it. Then you're going to see on slide number two, it gives you some irregular plurals. So it's showing instead of knife, knives. Remember, you drop the F, you change it to V and add an S. When it's potato, you add an E, S, and some different um, examples as well, just reminding you of those rules. Then you're going to see that you are going to choose two irregular plural nouns. And so what would be really helpful? is if you go back to slide two, and if you're like, oh, I can't think of one, you can go back to slide two, and you can go, oh, sheep. And I can go, number one, I can type in sheep. And then I'm gonna insert a picture, or I can even draw a picture and take a picture of that, or I can take one from the internet. I've showed you both ways how to do that. Um, and you can insert the picture here. But you are going to go ahead, you are going to pick two irregular plural nouns. Slide number two is going to be really helpful. So if you see potatoes, you can type potatoes and put it right here. And again, just making sure that we are being appropriate about what images we pick. Um, we've talked about it before. We haven't had issues with it. So thank goodness. But yeah, just make sure that you guys are looking for things that are appropriate and for your grade level. Um, and then we have our journal. So make sure you click on that. It's going to be our morning journal. It is Wednesday, so it's Words of Wisdom Wednesday. And our quote for today is, A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Albert Einstein. And so in your journal, you are going to talk about what you think that quote means and how it applies to you. So you are going to give me five to six sentences about what you think it means and how it applies to you. Um, I've noticed a theme with a lot of our recent um, quotes. It's been a, a lot of them remind me of growth mindset. And you might agree with me on that one. And so if this is a re kind of reminds you of growth mindset, go ahead and take that in consideration when you're telling me what this quote means to you. Then we have our Zoom at 9 o'clock. Can't wait to see you guys there with my crazy hair and see all of your guys' crazy hair. I'm looking forward to it. Then you will have um, your IB assignment. So today is Wednesday, so we are doing IB. So first things first, you have a video. You are going to click on the video camera. And you are going to see you have a quick little video about Fernadad Ma um, Magellan. Magellan. Yes, Renadad Magellan. Um, and you're going to go ahead, you are going to listen to that story. I blanked on his last name for a moment. Um, so you're going to go ahead, you're going to watch this video. After you watch the video, you're going to go ahead, you are going to click the little IB button. And it's going to take you to your job. And so we've talked, we've done this before with Bessie Coleman, with Amelia Earhart. Um, we did it together when we were talking about Lewis and Clark. And um, you went ahead and you did this with Life Erickson. So you're going to go ahead, you are going to do the same for today. After watching the video, you're going to go ahead, you're going to fill this out as best as you can. Remember, big hint, hint, take notes as you're watching the video and listening to the video. So that way it will be so much easier when you have to fill this out. I promise you, so much easier. So make sure you take notes as you watch that video because it's gonna help you a lot, a lot. But if you need to go back and watch the video, that's totally okay. 
And then you're going to go ahead. You are going to take a break. You deserve it. You worked so hard this morning. Give yourself that break. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump back in to um, our assignments. So you're going to do your prefix and suffix practice. You're going to click on the YouTube button. It's going to take you straight to the video. Um, and you're going to practice Hello, third grade. to well help with your reading um, foundational skills as well as your comprehension skills. Then you're going to have your Fernadad Magellan reading. So we're going to go ahead. We are going to click on the orange book. And you are going to go ahead and read or listen to the story. You Remember, you have that choice to read or listen to the story, but you need to be following along either way. Remember, this is editable text, meaning that you click on it and you will need to have to click on it in order to highlight, which is part of your job. Remember, if you do not highlight the information, Ms. Walsh is just sending it right back because we've practiced that skill together now multiple times. And so I know you guys know how to do it. So we're going to go ahead. You're going to see that again, similar to how we had um, Life Erickson reading. You are going to have a total of three questions. Question number one is going to be a question um, that asks you to use context clues and you're going to answer A, B, C, or D. Number two is a true or false. And so you're going to give me a T if it's true, meaning correct, and an F if it's false, meaning incorrect. And you're going to type it in right there. And then finally, for number three, you're going to give me a five-sentence summary about the article. There's a lot of information in the article. And so it, that's why it's really, really important that we keep our summaries brief or short and keep them five sentences. Because um, that's the purpose of a summary is it's supposed to let Miss um, Walsh know really quickly what you thought the main ideas and key details were. So you're going to go ahead, you're going to type your summary there. But what's going to be most, 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 most important and the first thing I look for is that you highlight information in the text. So that means you have to stop what you're doing on slide number two, jump back to slide one, and you have to highlight in green important information. So your main idea and key details. And if you do all that, you already have four sentences right there with your main idea, your three key details. You just need a beginning sentence. And if you're a superstar, you wrap it up and that's six sentences right there. So um, just keep that in mind. Then you have your personal narrative final draft. Remember, you just click on the pencil. This final draft is due um, on next Monday, not um, this Friday, but next Monday. So you have the weekend to work on it as well. And remember, this is typed. Um, we talked about the expectations yesterday during Zoom because we had some friends out we're not um, doing as we had asked. Um, so make sure that you follow all those guidelines that Ms. Walsh has given you. Then we have lunch. After lunch, we are going to be talking about skip counting with two and nine. Because in Zoom today, we're going to be talking about multiplying with two and nine. And there's some really cool tricks Miss Walsh has to show you for those. And so we're going to be skip counting by twos and nines today. Um, and so you're going to go ahead and you are going to have to decide is it skip counting by two or nine. Um, and then you're going to fill in the blanks and you're going to do the same for here as well. And you're just going to go, oh, okay, what's nine more than nine? Count it out. Oh, 18. I'm going to type in 18 and I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill in those extra boxes. And then finally, you have I ready math. Remember, you're doing 30 minutes of that. And then you have cleanup. And that is going to be it for your day. Again, reminder, um, please, please, please come to class ready to learn um, and on time. So that way we can all see Miss Walsh's crazy hair at the same time. And yeah, all right. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, D1.